guys, I'm Sarah and I want a bicky, a biscuit, a cookie, whatever you're going to call them. Now, I don't want a whole tray of them. I don't want to go feeding the masses. I just want a biscuit for me. So that's what I'm going to make. <laughs> now, of course, because you're just making a little thing, you need to get your measurements right. So I've actually got my, uh, well, actually I couldn't find my tablespoon measure. I've got it somewhere, but I've got my half tablespoon measure. So I'm just going to use that. So we want one tablespoon of butter and I'm just going to melt that very slightly in the microwave. I'll just go back 10 seconds just to soften it. Got one tablespoon of sugar. You can use white sugar. That works, but brown sugar just adds so much more of a yummy flavour, I find. A teensy weensy drop <laughs> of vanilla essence. I just sort of drip a bit into the cap and then drip. You know, I probably dripped too much there. Two tablespoons of flour. And lastly, half a tablespoon of milk. Go and mix that up. Oh, now, of course, you can add chocolate chippies or something in here. In fact, I might. I don't have chocolate chips, but I'm just going to add a sprinkle of currants. They'll make it look pretty. Pretty is important. Now, normally, when, you, when you're cooking bickies in the oven, it will be a reasonably firm mixture that you can roll together into a ball in your hands. This is a bit sloppier, and there is a reason for that. You will need to put this on baking paper. Very important. If you don't put it on baking paper, the middle of it will completely burn, and the outside edges will be raw. <laughs> now, the reason you want this sloppy is because you want to be able to put it into a ball because the microwave cooks things kind of from the center outwards. If you leave it a bit sloppy, then it will then it will spread out and it'll just cook a bit more evenly. I'm going to put this in for a minute. I think from memory last time I, it was about a minute and 20 seconds. So I might just do that. I'll put this in for a minute, one minute and 20 seconds. And I'll report back. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna to have to let that sit for a little minute. Now, quick disclaimer, because of course, you cooked this in the microwave, not in the oven. The texture is gonna to be totally different. The texture, I find, you're not gonna get a crunchy on the outside cookie. You're gonna get more like cookie dough that's been heated up, that's been cooked, but it's not crunchy or anything. You know, I'm not sure you could get away with dunking it in your, in your coffee or anything like that. So, you know, don't go expecting it to come out just like an oven thing. As I say, in the microwave, it cooks it from the center outwards. So unlike the oven, which cooks it from the outside in. So you're not going to get, if anything, it's gonna be firmer on the inside than it is on the outside. It's a bit opposite. All right. I mean, it looks the part, it certainly, as I say, Totally different from an oven baked cookie. It's a lot more, it's a lot more smooshy feeling. Smooshy, is that the word? I don't know if smooshy is the word I'm looking for. It's, it's a lot softer. That's more. <laughs> All right, going in. That is yummy. The, um, I tried it with white sugar and I didn't find it was, you know, it was okay. It was still fine. The brown sugar, it almost tastes like it's got golden syrup in there because of that, that bit of brown sugar. The currants, I think, work really nicely. I imagine chocolate chips would, boom, they'd be awesome. You can't go wrong with chocolate chips. But, um, no, I mean, it's it's nice. It's a bicky, it satisfies those cravings for a cookie. <laughs> so, give this a go. Save yourself a trip out to the shops to buy a packet of bickies next time you need because it's, that's pretty easy and you know one minute 30 in the microwave <laughs> hit the like button <laughs> leave me a comment down below hit subscribe and we'll see you next week bye and make a bicky okay cookie if you're american whatever you are make one of these